Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video in the series of the, the Thrustmaster Warthog Hodus. This time we're uh, showing you the game Elite Dangerous. So you get to kind of see how Elite Dangerous uses the systems uh, that this joystick HOTAS system provides for us. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to check out a few things first of all. As you can see, if you go in here into options, into controls, uh, you'll see that I have a custom set up, but that's because there's just a few things that I changed around a little bit. But as you can see, they also they already have a Thrustmaster Warthog uh, preset. You can stick with that one, or you can kind of adjust so it feels a little bit better for you. I adjusted because it obviously it feels a little bit better uh, for me. So we're gonna go ahead and back out now. One of the cool things about this is I can actually use the Warthog itself to control the game. So we're gonna hit continue. And what I've decided to do is we're going to go into just uh, solo play and we're going to go into a little bit of combat. So I want to show you a little bit of combat and uh, show you some fun stuff. Also, we've got missions uh, that we can do. The current mission that I have right now isn't really a combat ship. Actually, I don't even have any uh, any combat whatsoever. So uh, this specific ship is a ship that is meant to guide you around the galaxy. like Kind of like a... Um, I don't know, a space greyhound or uh, an airplane an, uh, liner or something like that. Uh, so I guess we're not going to do combat. We're going to specifically do like kind of passenger missions. So we can use the stick to uh, guide ourselves to starport, starport services. And we're going to take a look at the passenger lounge. This is going to give us missions in Elite Dangerous. So this is where we can take people from one location to another. So there are sightseeing missions like people that want to go on an amazing sightseeing adventure to different nebula and things like that. Um, there's like transporting from one area to another. See, these are all sightseeing adventures. These usually take a little bit longer, but they pay off a lot more. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to we're going to see what missions we have. Sightseeing adventure, transport, 330,000. 10 light years away, so there's not a bad one. Transport for 144. Transport for... Yeah, you can see they all have different uh, objectives. Transport 280 something. Now, one thing I want to make a mental note is you saw that the transport, like say this one right here. This is a transport to Terrence uh, Medina for 366,000. But if we Look at it, it says the destination is LP816-60, and it's 18.65 light years away. So if we click on it, it'll give us the parameters of that. Transport rich tourist to Garrett Landing in the LP816 system. So if we actually open our galaxy map, and you click on... Um, well, unfortunately, no system map is available. So unless you actually click on it, you won't know like specifically where it actually is in the LP system because normally you'd be able to go into the system map and then you could find out from there but Elite Dangerous has kind of changed a little bit and not a lot of places have system maps. The reason I even mention any of this is because sometimes the specific area that you go to might be really quick and we can get to this destination pretty quickly but inside that star system you're not able to get to it quickly because like some places will be literally, you know, thousands upon thousands of uh, distance away. Like uh, in this specific one, this tells me that the system is 18.65 light years, but it says that the starport is 8.92 light seconds, which actually isn't that bad. So we're going to go ahead and select this mission because it's, Honestly, not a, it's not too bad. And we get a little bit of money. So we got a few different places that we can put it. Business, we only have three. So there's a total of, there's more people. So we're going to go ahead and set these six people up. And there we go. Now we have the mission and it is available to us. We're going to go down and select back. And we're going to switch. We're going to exit this. Now we're going to go over to our transactions, contacts, and all that kind of stuff. And this is where you kind of utilize both of these when you, you don't ever have to use a mouse if you don't want to. But of course, 
um, you know, you can still use all that stuff if you want, but you don't have to. So if we go over to transactions, and it'll tell us our passenger mission right here, which is transport Terrence. So what we can do is it tells us exactly what we need to do. We need to make sure we take no damage. This is a very laid back mission. It's a low value target. Don't do illegal actions as they will slightly reduce the passenger satisfaction. They're demanding. They might ask for us to do certain things on the mission. So now we're going to open the galaxy map and we're going to click plot route. There we go. So now we have a route and we're all freaking ready to go. So we're going to exit and we're going to return to surface. Now, once we actually get out into space, we'll be able to find out how many jumps it'll take us to get to this specific location. And again, you can do it all with the, uh, the Warthog. It's very, very easy to use. All right, so once we're up here, we're going to launch. Now, the way that it's set up Ship is this right here is gonna lift me off and I've got my roll set to the same thing I had in Star Citizen. So that's how I roll, and of course, uh, that's how we do our uh, thrust, left, right, up and down, and then we're gonna move forward. So just center ourselves here. We'll make ourselves go a little bit to the right because that's where the green is. Bring ourselves up a little bit just to make sure that we're hitting right inside the blue. And then it looks like we're good to go. Perfect. And we'll go full throttle. Now we have our landing gear by the bottom right. You can tell that it says mass locked and landing gear. So we're going to click our landing gear off by hitting this switch in the up position and then bring it back down. So it's every time that you press up on it, the landing gear will come up or down. So then just kind of like two clicks. All right. So now we already have our thing set. We're going to Barnard Star first because we have to jump from one location to another. So this is how you can do that. And this is how you can check it to see if what jumps you have. So go over to navigation and tells you that there are a total of three jumps that you're going to have to make. And I hope you guys can hear me. Hopefully I've been able to uh, be louder than the game, you know. But three jumps. Barnard Star is the first one. So we're going to go ahead and make that jump. You can click this button right here on the back that gets us out of it. It's just one way to get it out. We need to super cruise. So what we're gonna do is I have this set to this button down here. It's called engage, disengage, autopilot. All the, obviously, this is not a flight sim, so therefore these buttons are made for flight sims. So we're gonna click that, and we're gonna go into our frame shift drive. So it's charging up. Now we can go ahead and go back. The reason you want to go ahead and go back is because if you have this set all the way up, you're going to pretty much go right into the star. And I don't want to go right into the star. Now you can get around it so that you don't crash into the star. But I prefer to just stop. And then once we get oriented, then we can move on. We're going to get close to this little yellow line that you see there. This is going to allow us to fuel scoop off of the star there we go and then we're back to having you know close to fuel uh, max so the next place that we're going our second jump is Ross so now that our temperature is down to 31 degrees we're gonna engage frame shift drive and then we're back into it as you can see it's all very uh, intuitive especially working very well with the Warthog All right, so now I'm going to keep it straight up. I'm not going to bring it back down, and you're going to see how we will just go straight into the star. But you can maneuver fast enough to where you actually don't hit it. See how it's moving already there? Do a little fuel scooping, and we're already maxed out. Now, be careful of our temperature. We want to make sure that our temperature doesn't get too high, because if our temperature gets too hot, then when we try to do this, which is, you know, uh, jump out of the next system, 
it could overheat and then we could cause problems and things could fail and then you have to you know um you have to fix those failures obviously All right, so we're finally reaching our system that we're supposed to be going to. There we are. We are here. All right. Such a beautiful game, right? Now, we finally discovered everything here. Okay? So you do an initial scan. Uh, depends on what type of scanner you have, and it tells you all of the things that are in the area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our panel, right? And you can see that it says Garrett Landing is where we need to actually load. But now we can actually view the system map. So because we're in the system, we can take a look at the system map now that we've unlocked the area. And it kind of tells us where our objective is. Uh, you can move around the system using you know, these over here. You can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, there's like so much that you can do. It's freaking cool. And as you can see, even the stick controls us doing all of this too. So it's like really cool. You can zoom in to where the station is. You can see that this is the planet L1660 or the moon, I guess. Uh, and there's a station around it. So we've already got it selected. We know where we're going and we're gonna go ahead and get there. So we're gonna exit. And we're gonna make sure that we have it selected. So we're gonna go here, click to the right, go down to Gareth. And once we click it, we have a few options. We can lock destination, we can view the system map, uh, pilot's handbook, trading and smuggling in the area, whatnot. We're just gonna lock destination. There we go. I'm gonna click that button to get out. And we can see the little compass in the uh, middle left points us in the direction of where this is. And then we can go in and begin our journey. Now, the whole thing is, uh, if you look to the left, you see where it says Garrett Landing, Distance, Speed, Alignment. You see the blue. That is the speed we need to be, and that is the distance that we need to be. See, I'm purposely going too far past it. Like, if you notice that we're going to tell us to slow down, that's because if you go too fast, you'll just zip right by it, right? So there's a trick in order to be able to make sure that you are set up for success. So we're going to go past it here. And then once it's back in sight, there it is. All right, we're at nine seconds. As soon as it gets the blue, so as soon as it gets to seven seconds, you want to make sure that your little cursor down in the bottom right uh, middle is blue. Once that is blue, that means you'll stay around five to seven seconds, and you'll easily be able to make sure that you don't overshoot something which uh, comes in handy when you want to go fast. Wait till you get to seven seconds, bring the throttle down to blue, and then you're good to go. So we need to disengage. So we're going to make sure that we disengage once we get under one uh, megameter. Uh, you can tell where the opening is right there. So we're going to head a little bit to the right. Boost is set on this button right there, the red. Once we get close enough, we can go ahead and set ourselves up for success. So we're gonna go over to contacts, uh, Garrett Landing, and then we're gonna request uh, docking. That way we can actually uh, do it right. So in order to dock, there we go, perfect. And now we're good to go. Let's bring it down to the blue. And now we're set up perfectly. So this is just like taking off, except it's backwards and we're gonna land. We want to get our landing gear on, so we're going to flip up. Now you see that the ship, the space station is, is, is in a rotation, so it's going to keep rotating us. So you just got to kind of lightly, you know, maneuver your uh, roll so that you're still completely in line with everything. And it should be good to go. All right, once we come in, I know I didn't show you any type of combat. Maybe in another video, I'll show you some some combat. Once you get close enough, you get pulled in by its own gravitational fulls, force, so you don't have to like rotate it as much as you can see. We have landing gear pad 21. Well, there's 21 over here, so let's head down. Now, specifically, we're going to use a lot of our, of this uh, hat, which is going to allow us to kind of move around uh, up 
up and down, left and right. So we're going to slow down. We're going to set it over so where it's equal. Use our hats to get centered. There we go. It's going to bring this up. We're going to bring ourselves up. So you don't actually have to look at anything. You can do it this way. Okay, we're getting close. At this time, we're going to go down. And perfect. There we go. Very easy to do. All can be done with using nothing. That whole time we flew, we didn't even use the mouse or keyboard. We used specifically the HOTAS system. Now, there are a lot more things that you can do with it. So we're going to go into Starport Services. And this is how we're going to complete our mission. So we're going to go to the passenger board. We see the exclamation point. And it tells us that we have completed our mission. And we need to hand in the contract. Now, we can get awarded different ways. If we had a cargo unit, we would get uh, silver. Uh, you can get firmware, two units, get more influence, less money. However, what we're going to do is get more money, a little bit of reputation, and a little bit of influence. There you go. And she tells us thank you, or he tells us thank you. Uh, we get a little bit more reputation in the system, and again, a little bit more influence, which allows us to be able to, to get higher paying missions and stuff like that. And then you can accept missions from here. This is just passenger missions, meaning I just took six people and moved them from the location we were at to the new location. Very easy to do. There's also combat, bounty missions, uh, mining, all different, just exploring. Sightseeing, excuse me, sightseeing adventures, you can do so much in the game. So that's a little video showcasing the uh, Thrustmaster Warthog. Again, thank you to them for allowing me to show this off to you guys. Make sure you check out the other video in this series where we're going over uh, Star Citizen with the Thrustmaster Warthog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video so far. Many more on the way. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.